If you want to undervolt your Ryzen 9 7000 series laptop, this is the right video for you. And we're going to reduce the temperature, increase the FPS in games, yes, increase CPU performance in synthetic games, and also make your laptop run a lot smoother via this tutorial. Now, this specifically is based on this, one of the best gaming laptops out there from ROG, the Strix 17-inch, and it's the 713P with the Ryzen 9 7940HX. But this tutorial is actually gonna be the exact same, no matter the brand of your laptop and no matter the CPU. The only thing that matters is that it's a Ryzen 7000 series and with an X at the end, because it means it's unlocked and we can do whatever we want to it, okay? Now this thing, I mean, take a look. It's an expensive machine, okay? It even says over here, like, liquid metal inside. So one would expect this thing to run cool. And it's also not too slim, but it still run pretty high in temperature, let me tell you. So it needs an undervolt. People think you can't do it because it's locked. You can't do it in Ryzen Master, you can't do it into Windows. But thankfully, I have to give it to AMD they put a secret menu inside the BIOS from where we can just do whatever you want to the CPU. So we need to go into the BIOS and to do that on laptops, you need to spam the F1 or F2 or delete key, depending on your, on your laptop model, and then you will be here. And now we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it just very quickly. Plus, if you stay until the end, I'm gonna give you a few extra tips to improve performance. But I want you guys to promise me one thing, okay? So this is what I do, this is, I'm watching EPS use my channel and uh, we do mostly undervolting and PC build guides. So if the video ends up being helpful, just promise me you will drop a like and subscribe. So you can help me grow and I can bring you guys more stuff to tweak. So let's get started. So here we are in the BIOS. Now, again, if you have a laptop that's not ASUS, it's gonna be a bit different, of course, but the procedure is gonna be the same because AMD standardized secret menu. So we wanna go into the advanced mode, which in my laptop is F7, okay? So just F7 and we go here. Now we have a lot of things which we can change to improve performance in our laptop. For example, we can put the display mode to be always dedicated GPU, but this is not what, what we want today. Today we just wanna overclock, well, undervolt actually, okay? So we wanna go into the AMD overclocking tab, which is gonna be in advanced. It's always in advanced no matter the brand, it's a rule that AMD has put, which I like. So enter, it's gonna warn you, you're gonna break your laptop, you tell them you're not scared, okay? And then you wanna find an option that's called the Precision Boost Overdrive. Now in this laptop, it's pretty locked, so it's the only option. You go into there, and maybe it's gonna be enabled, maybe it's gonna be um, disabled, but you wanna click enter and put it on advanced. And now we can do whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna give you just two different settings just very quickly. So if you wanna just undervolt and basically lower your temperature and make your PC run better and not risk instability, you wanna go into Curve Optimizer, put it on negative, and you wanna put 15. And you wanna just basically save and exit. And you can close the video, drop a like, subscribe, and it was very nice to have you here. But if you wanna stay, uh, just a few extra tips in case you wanna customize this, test it for yourself because it's always better to just test out those things, okay? You can get more performance and you can ensure your system is 100% stable. So 15 is gonna work for most people, but if you get this number to be higher, it's gonna be better. So more performance, lower temperature, just better, okay? The higher, the better. So a lot of laptops I tried can do 20. Not all of them though. So if you put 20, just test it out with a proper stress test, okay? On the other side, if you're very unlucky and even 15 is giving you issues, just put 10 and you're gonna be fine. Generally, if you have just the top 1% laptop out there, you may be able to get 30, but you need to be very lucky. Like I haven't had a laptop doing 30 stable so far. Okay, so for my laptop, we are putting 20 because it's what works for me, but you should put 15 if you wanna be safe. We have a few other options over here. Uh, what are these? Well, this is to improve performance. Now, if you do this, just the core optimizer, you're already getting free performance. And uh, the other options you should not touch because uh, if you don't have a lot of thermal headroom, you're gonna actually lose performance by touching this. It's what most people on the internet get wrong. But if you have like a cooling pad, or if you just, I don't know, live in Alaska and it's very cold, we can play around with these as well. And here's how you do it. So the overdrive scaler, it's gonna actually overvolt your CPU, okay? So you wanna put it on manual, but over here, it's not letting me change it, even if I put it on manual, because the BIOS is bugged, so we are waiting for an update. But 
if it lets you you then need to put it to 1x okay 1x it's gonna be the setting to use and then we can give it a little bit of boost overdrive this is just technically overclocking so you can just give it 100 megahertz i find it works but the performance difference is going to be so little that it's usually not worth it to risk instability okay so i would just recommend you do the curve optimizer and close everything off okay but one last tip since you watched until the end and i appreciate you a lot if you have a setting like armory crate on this laptop you can also set a power limit and if you can <clears throat> for gaming i recommend you put it to 80 watts because if you do that you're gonna free up performance for your gpu because they share the cooling system so you're gonna get a lot more fps by power limiting your cpu after doing this that i showed you with the core optimizer this is a little life hack okay and this is really it the video is finished i hope it was helpful i hope i helped you with your laptop and if i did please remember your promise and uh, drop a like and subscribe and i hope to see you guys again bye bye